Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be continuing our Trackmania Royal tutorial series. Uh, we'll be taking a look at today's new map. I'll do a, a drive-through of it, uh, show you guys how it's driven, and explain if there's any tips or strategies on the new map. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and let me know in the comments if there's any other Royal maps you want me to take a look at that I haven't already covered. More than happy to take a look at any of the Royal maps um, that are currently in the pool. So let me know if you guys are struggling or just want to see how one uh, looks like when it's driven. And for now, let's get into the video. All right. So here we are on today's new map. It is called the Tower by Golo Physics. Now Golo Physics has had quite a few maps in the pool. There's not a Golo Physics map in the pool at the moment though. They've all been removed. Uh, so the first new one we've had from him for a while, he generally makes really, really good maps. Generally does a lot with pipes. Uh, this one isn't done with pipes, which is very interesting for Golo Physics, but I absolutely love this map. Not sure how many of you guys played the OG uh, Royal maps. But we had two that were this plastic platforming staircase model and they were absolutely amazing maps and this has taken that idea and combined it with deja vu which was a map by kiraj introduced a bit later um, and it is absolutely amazing definitely one of my favorite royal maps i've played recently phenomenal map really good job by golo physics um so let's get into it okay so here we are on the white section now unfortunately in cam one we do have this sort of uh scenery obstructing us um if we go into camp three it's not there but let's go now on the white section we do have this little jump uh you want to air brake on both takeoffs just to make your landing a bit smoother do a little uh 180 um and i'm just going to get up here and then show you guys another way you can take that corner so this is white not too complicated okay so what you can do is we'll again just air brake here steer left over here and do our bug slide remember uh not sure if you guys watched yesterday so i'll just run through it quickly all you have to do is hold accelerator and brake together as you steer uh, left or right so if you watch again inputs at the top right there holding them together as you steer left and it just rotates your car a little bit better allowing you to get around those sort of really tight bends um, and on a map like this that mechanic is 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 key really um it's a really important mechanic to have uh, for these sorts of maps. Okay, so under green, and this is another moment when we'll do it, but we'll do it for a different reason here, because what happens when you do it, if you watch, I'm doing it here on this first corner, as you get air, it sort of pulls you down, even though you're in the air, if you do it just before takeoff, and it grips you. So for these sorts of tight turn turns like this, it is an absolutely key mechanic for this sort of plastic platforming map. Just to grip us to the inside, of these turns. Something I use on every single one of these uh, these sort of 90 degree turns. And that is how the green section is driven. So again, those old plastic platforming maps, uh, that mechanic was key there as well, and here it's the same. Okay, so we're onto the blue section now, uh, and we can once again use this mechanic to rotate our car around. Now, when you get to this section here, uh, you're going to need speed. There's two jumps here and you need a bit of speed to clear both. Um, you don't need too much. Like, for example, if you just come to a standstill here, you'll clear both. But it's important, this jump's a little bit blind. Important to remember, if you're on the left-hand side, stay left. And if you're on the right-hand side, stay right. And you'll see why once we get over this rise, but for now. So just once you're here, just full speed. Stay on the right. We clear this. And then we go up this jump and clear this. So, yeah, you don't need too much speed. Uh, as long as you line yourself up at the base of that uh, ramp and just full speed and stay on the left or right, depending on which side you're on, you'll make it fine. Um, and then we just go through this, make another jump. Again, you don't need too much speed. Uh, a short little turn around here, so don't take that with too much speed. And into the finish, and that is blue. And now we're on to red. And for red, uh, I'll just quickly show you here. Uh, we have these gaps here. Um, which means, whether we go left or right, we want to make sure we're on the inside when we go up these, and these all have it. So make sure our car is going kind of this way. So this would be your right front tyre. This is where it would cross off, exactly where those lines meet. This is where it would cross over, sorry, exactly where those lines meet. And once again, you can use 
the bug sliding kind of uh, grippy technique that we were talking about earlier, just to make those a little bit smoother. And again, a little bit of speed for this jump. And here, full speed up, and we hit a bouncer, and you can go straight to the finish. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do a cut and come back around to red and show you guys what happens if you don't make the finish, because that doesn't always happen. All right, so here we are back on red. Uh, we want to do the same as we did last time. Maybe we just sort of climb up these. Climb red. Hit this bouncer. And... All right. So we landed on blue, which is fine. Um, what I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to descend here. Because it is possible. For us to land down here. So let's pretend this is where we landed. Like, oh no, where do we go? So if you land on green, uh, all you have to do is climb up the blue section, drive to the blue finish, and then continue along. Basically the same if you land on blue and green. Uh, green, you just have to climb uh, the blue section as well. Blue, you just drive straight to where the red uh, blocks are, and then to the red finish. Okay, so here we are on the black section, and it's the same here. Uh, this block here isn't here in the middle, so same line across these. Uh, here, you kind of just hit it in the middle of your car, where those two blocks connect. Here, we need a little bit of speed again, not too much. So just give yourself enough room to jump over this. Bit of speed for this again. Again, not too much, just enough to clear it. And then we drive through white again, uh, through the white finish, jump up to here. Now this part, I'll just quickly show you in Cam 7, because we're missing this block here, and this is a really steep incline. So we have to kind of swing out and get grip on this surface, so our, our tyres will sort of swing up here, get us grip. And we're going to drive up here, and the black finish is right at the top. So we kind of want to be on the right hand side of this as we climb, and jump over to the left. And I'll show that now, I just wanted to quickly Cam 7 to give you guys an idea of what was coming up. So here on this angle. Don't bug slide this, it can be a little bit weird. And again, right to left, land in a bug slide and through the finish. And that is how this map's driven. Uh, we'll do quickly another run through, another playthrough. Uh, so let's do that now. Once again, white, rotate our car around, jump up to the finish. Okay, the green section again, same thing, these bug slides. I should also note that you want to be in first gear for these bug slides. If you're in second, your car won't grip uh, sort of while it's in the air like it does here, if you're in second gear. It only works in first. Okay, on to the blue section again. So once again, this turn around, make this jump, stay on the right or left depending on which side you're on. Another jump, turn around, make this jump as well, small turn around here, so slow down, and drive to the blue finish, onto the red section again, so once again, hug the inside of these, don't want to go over that middle section, stay centred, bounce, okay, didn't make the red finish, which is fine, we did actually land all the way down on green. But we know how to deal with this, it's perfectly fine. A little bit longer, but it's not too bad. Same thing, just drive to the red finish. Okay, on to the black section now. And same as we did last time. A little bit of bug sliding here. Build up enough speed for this jump, perfect. Keep speed for this. And a little bit of pl weird plastic grip there, but it's perfectly fine. Not much of a slowdown. Once again, so remember, we don't bug slide this first one. We climb, 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 and then we bug slide this. And that is through to the finish. And that is The Tower by Golo Physics. Again, I absolutely love this map. I don't really have any complaints. I haven't seen any cuts. I hope there's not any. When you like sort of build a vertical map like this, 
very possible, but Golo is quite a good mapper, and I think he's probably placed everything in good positions. There might be some lucky plastic plastic bounces, sorry, but I don't think anything viable in a match. I hope anyway. I didn't see anything obvious, um, but yeah, really cool aesthetic. Everything sort of builds down to this this tower in the center here. Really, really cool map. So I really hope this helps you guys out. Um, thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you all in the next one.